Hello everyone, Holly Kerwin, Director and Principal Psychologist of Northside Psychology. I'll see if I can get that out. I um, hope you're all having a good day. I am going to do a quick one today um, because I've got meetings and I need to run out in a moment and get my um, youngest from school um, before I come back and implement a whole bunch of things from those meetings. But I was talking to someone earlier today who's actually using this technique, which I recorded and shared with her. Um, and um, she mentioned that it was actually really helpful and she's using it with her clients as well. Um, so that made me think, okay, I'll just do a live on this one, which is easy because I don't need to think about it too much or prepare. Um, I call it the sleep one to 20. I'm sure other people have other names. Um, it, it's not something I made up, but, uh, but was taught for good reason, um, because you know people have a lot of trouble getting to sleep, obviously. Um, a lot of people wake up during the night as well, and a lot of people wake early. So they might be, you know, collapse into bed, um, you know, in the evening, but wake at 4 a.m. So this is a technique that may help you with being able to um, to get to sleep at the beginning of the night or get back to sleep during the night or or if you wake too early in the morning. So give it a go. Like anything I do, if I'm seeing people and, and working through these um you know, teaching people these techniques in therapy, I encourage people to modify it, you know, just, just change it around a bit to work for you. There's no problem with that. And in fact, that's what we're after is that, that um, level of flexibility and adaptability. That's what helps us in, in life with everything. So um, I'll talk you through it and then I'll walk you through it, okay? And, um, and presumably with this one, if someone's actually having a little bit of trouble during the night, they could listen to it then. Again, I'm a Facebook and social media rookie, but I, I imagine you'd be able to do that if you wanted to. <laughs> um, okay, so what we do first is um, we want to bore your brain. This is not an exciting activity. We want to bore your brain so that you can get back to sleep. And we want your brain to be able to latch on to a few different things at once so that its attention is grabbed with those things and not... Um, you know, the ever-lasting, you know, uh, to-do list or stuff that you're worried about or whatever it is. Now, there's a whole series that I could do on sleep hygiene. Um, and because it's a short video today, because I am time limited and don't have the luxury of just being able to talk um, about all of those, it's something I'll come back to another time. So I'm going to keep the scope of this one to the sleep under 20. Um, but is firstly um, look at the ceiling when you're in when you're in bed now um, we don't sleep in caves you know it's not pitch black even if it's the middle of the night generally we can see something once our eyes have been open for a little while so what you do is you um, picture a spot on the ceiling okay and um, even if you're doing this in the chair you might just want to you know look up for a minute picture a spot on the ceiling and then um, memorize that spot in a sense, close your eyes and get back into a comfortable position. Okay, so don't strain your neck if you're doing this while you're in a chair, all right? So that's step one. Picture that spot on the ceiling and then um, close your eyes and in your mind's eye, see that spot, okay? Next thing to do is to put, put a hand on your heart, put a hand on your, on your belly and really use this to moderate your breathing what we want is more belly breaths. You know, if you've ever seen a, a baby breathing, they breathe from their tummy, their whole tummy goes up and down. And as adults, and, and as we get more stressed, uh, we don't breathe like that, but that's how we're meant to breathe. So what we want to do here is, is actually, um, with the breathing, just feel the hand, oh, there's my nails for those of you who watched me yesterday, I got my nails done as part of my self care. There you go, went red, went all out. <laughs> um, anyway, so what you want to do is actually um, feel the hand going up and down as you're breathing, okay, on the tummy. So you want, if, you, if, if the hand, sorry, that I should say the hand that is on the tummy needs to be going up and down because then you know that you're actually breathing where you need to be breathing to. You know, you want to use your, your lung capacity. Um, and this gives, this gives another couple of things actually. You know, with proper breathing, you're starting to bring on the more of the relaxation response, which is good, um, and it gives another focus. So already we've got multiple focuses here because we're trying to keep your brain, 
busy, but bored, busy with boring things, okay? So we're still picturing that spot on the ceiling and we are breathing properly and we know that we're breathing properly when the hand that's, that's down on the tummy is actually going up and down, not the one that's on the heart, okay? But that can be comforting to, to have that there and supportive and nurturing, it feels nice. Um, and then what we're doing is that we're counting with each breath, okay? So with each breath, you know, the breath in, or out, doesn't matter. You know, again, this is where, do what works for you, doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, say for me right now, as I'm going through the example, I'm breathing in, and that's one. That's two with my second breath, and so on. So what we're doing now is we're starting to attach another layer here not interesting it's pretty boring we're trying to bore your brain but you're going to count from 1 to 20 okay so with each breath you just count up a number so now we've got multiple things going on we're still picturing that that spot on the ceiling in our mind's eye we're focusing on the breath and we're counting so we sorry we're focusing on breathing properly and we're counting now every time you get distracted or every time you think about something else, okay, or move, go back to one. And if you ever happen to get to 20 anyway, go back to one, okay? So that's the challenge. And I'm thinking, oh, I could set a challenge for you since I'm on a 30 day live stream challenge, but I, I'll leave that one. <laughs> All right, so, Let's just practice just very, very briefly now so that you can get a feeling for what it's like, okay? So look at that ceiling, pick the spot, memorize it in your mind's eye, make sure you're in a really comfortable position and just see that spot in your mind's eye. And now as you do that, just hand on heart, hand on tummy and breathing all the way. So, so nice big breaths in and as you do show, you should feel your tummy push the hand up and out and all the way out. And it can really help to open your mouth and, and breathe it out. Okay, and that was number one. And just keep going with every breath, counting. From one. And two. And so on at your own pace. Counting with each breath. And every time you wriggle or move, or if you notice that you're distracted, just go back to one again without any kind of judgment. It's what brains do. It's what busy brains do. Okay, and if you judge yourself, you're probably going to be more likely to get, to get distracted and to get off topic. So just, just notice it, observe it, accept it, let it go, and come right back to anchoring your focus or the focus of your attention on that spot that you saw in the ceiling in your mind's eye on the hand that should be moving with the breath in your tummy as you take those nice big breaths in and blowing them all the way out and with each breath just continuing to count from one all the way up to 20. I think it's important to realize that we're going to get distracted. It's completely normal, it's not a problem. So without any kind of judgment, just go back to one. And if you do happen to get all the way to 20, 
over 20 breaths without moving or getting distracted. Just go back to one again anyway. Okay. So I hope that's helpful. Short one today, but it's a, it's a goodie for a lot of people. Um, so give it a go next time you, you know, can't get to sleep in the beginning of the night or you, you wake during the night or you wake early and you want to try to get back to sleep. Give it a, give it a go. And uh, I'd love to know how you go about that. Uh, and even what your ideas are on modifying it so it fits you and, and what suits you. All right, thanks everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. I think that was day five of the challenge today, so I'll be back for day six. See you then. Bye.